I'm pretty much convinced at this point I'm cursed. <laughs> Apparently when I say I'm going to put up something on a specific date, the universe decides to make sure that I do not actually do that. Uh, for those who haven't seen the, like, the few streams that have happened in the past like two months, because like, even there hasn't been that many streams, uh, basically, <laughs> when I came back from that last trip that I said in the last episode, my computer broke. Processor failure. It was a laptop, so pretty much toast. Then I got sick. Then Christmas came up. Although that was before, uh, that was after a TRG trip. Basically, let's just say the past two and a half months have been busy, but now we're back to fighting, so let's say fighting dinosaurs, but we are the dinosaurs. We're back to fighting monkeys now, actually. Because we're being welcomed to Monkey World, which is really not all that different from any other place in the game. I mean, it's got things you can hit with your butt. Sponge blocks, and I have no eggs, so I can't do anything with that. I'm glad I wasted all that time on that. Perfect start. I need items. I need things to throw. That'll work. I think it's just a one-up. I'm pretty sure this is just a one-up. No, it's not. That's at least a little useful. And now I, once again, have no item ammo. Come on. Come here, monkey. Oh, by the way, monkeys, total dicks in this game. You will learn to hate them, even though they squeak. It's an adorable squeak, but you will learn to hate that squeak very quickly. Although maybe not in this episode. We will find out. Um, I'm checking something. Checking how fast I can die. Nope, we're good. Sorry, that part never really went away during the, the, the little break. Give me your souls and we will throw it. Oh man, they're already gonna have me at full stars before I even get to the first checkpoint, aren't they? So really, the main gimmick is that now we're gonna start seeing A, the monkeys, which while I'm being a little like, oh, I hate these assholes, the main thing about them is that they're gonna start like jumping around and they'll start attacking us with our own weapons. Not necessarily eggs, but the watermelons. And this is where watermelon gameplay really, I was gonna say, hits a stride, I guess. Plus, for some reason, they've got fucking missiles! Who the fuck gives a monkey a missile? Conversely, who gives a dinosaur a, a baby? But I mean, we're not questioning that, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't have a game. I mean, we can still question it. I'm kind of down with that idea. Oh, no. Wow, the checkpoint was really early. Cool. All right, so now what we're going to do over here is completely ignore everything. That's good. All right. Now, if you couldn't tell, that's very important. I almost feel like you can hover jump up there if you bounce off an enemy, but we're not going to do anything too fancy. I believe that's actually the way we're supposed to go. I'll remember in a second here. Whoa! No. Fuck you, monkey. That's the other thing. Uh, normally, most enemies that you hit with the uh, watermelon missiles or the watermelon shots just flat out die. Monkeys don't. They actually corpse. And then you can just kick them around. And then kick them off the map. But I believe they still come back. Thankfully, they can turn into eggs anyway, so not really the biggest deal. Our main concern is I'm beginning to think I really am going to have to go back there. Never mind. Yeah, this is looking like it's actually leading to the next checkpoint. That's a sign to go back. Whoop. Get away from me. Get away. Hate you. Get away. I must sound like I have some sort of monkey PTSD or something at this point. Just pure rage related to monkeys. Maybe it's that Donkey Kong Country race I did with my friend. Might be that. All right, th this is the actual way to go. We're gonna go back. Now, as you noticed, kind of just stuck right there. No way to do it. So what you're supposed to do is jump in the water and go under. Now, there's no visible break showing you that you can do that. The one real tech, the texture note, as you can tell right there on the side, that's to tell there's a solid wall there. It's a sneaky little difference. I think it's only one of the few times I even bothered doing this trick. Oh, God. All right, Giants blocks, donut teeth, whatever you want to call them. I used to call them donut teeth for the longest time, and I think I've been informed numerous times that that is actually not their name. I don't know where I got it from. But this is all just for one-ups. I thought there was a coin, too, but... 
Oh, shit. Of course. I got a little too fancy for my own good. And then the one single enemy by himself. And what? Woof. That was a little weird. Ghost eggs. Ain't here to deal with no ghost eggs. I'm here to deal with this baby. I can just fly over the rest since we got everything over here. Unfortunately, this is going to put us ground level? Yeah, I'm not good at the infinite hovering yet. But now I've got a couple watermelon shots, so I should be okay. It does kind of bum me out that these guys cannot be turned into stars at all, because that's really one of the best benefits of the watermelon seeds, is the fact that you can just turn most enemies into stars. Without it, I mean, you've still got free ammo, technically. You can also just throw the monkey corpses at people or turn them into eggs, either way. Here, catch. I think it's better to have a full watermelon than a half. Obviously, the half watermelon gives you half the shots. That I feel like that's a straightforward thing. The million dollar question is really going to be, when we get to the point where I get the other watermelons, am I going to remember that we've already shown them off? I don't think we've shown off the flamethrower yet. I know we've shown off the ice one. Oh, God! Dicks. You're all dicks! I really fucking hate monkeys. What the hell? I feel like I'm just having, like, a weird realization right now. It's like, God, what happened to me as a child? It also could be the point that the, the monkeys are everywhere and you do not have enough eggs to deal with them all. Oh, right, they're egg immune, too. Shit, that was the other thing. They just get in a stun state no matter what you hit them with, even if you jump on them. Nope, nope. Another weird thing is, you notice that he obviously ate the watermelon. Because I grabbed the watermelon out of his hand after he had eaten the watermelon seeds, he doesn't have any in his mouth. I don't get why that's a thing, but I'm kind of happy that it's the case. Here. Jason! 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 Oh, now you move. Damn smart monkeys out thinking a dinosaur. <laughs> Who's got a multi-million, multi-million dollar franchise instead of... That other multi-million franchise with Nintendo. Never mind, that doesn't work at all. All right, this guy sucks. Can't do anything with him. But if they touch you, they immediately kidnap the baby. I do not believe they stun you. So basically, just dodge out of the way of him. Fairly straightforward, at least, which is kind of a nice trade-off. See if I can like, jump on these monkeys. Wow, Flutter Kick kills him. Okay, but just not normal jumping. Weird. That was stupid. It still worked, though, but it was stu- Shit. I got too confident on that one. No, it's mine now. Stupid monkeys. Oh, there's a company name. What am I missing? Uh-oh. That's- Oh, no. I've made a huge mistake. Shit. Gone for two months, immediately fuck up everything. I feel like that's my motto at this point. Gimme, give gimme. Give I bet you... Why would I miss the coin? Ah, damn it. You're so funny, you damn monkeys. We'll fast forward to find out where that one coin is, and then we'll meet you... We'll meet you back at the gate, and then we're gonna meet you back after the stage anyways, because we're missing, like, a lot of stars. I don't think I can make up the stars on this stage. Okay, I'm confused about a couple things now. Number one... I still have my items. I thought that didn't save on your save file. I guess it did. It does. That would make sense. I thought this was the one that didn't happen on. All right. The other is, uh, I may not be more confused by this. It's more that I remembered why I hate the monkeys. Because when there's a hard sprite limit to this game, I believe it's 32 sprites. And uh, if you have too many sprites on screen, you can despawn things such as red coins. So unfortunately, and I'm gonna go through the footage to figure out if that actually happened, uh, Future John will have to do this. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to go through this stage again because I accidentally despawned one of the red coins out of existence. Meaning it was actually impossible for me to get 100 points. Not good. <laughs> Very not good. Very aggravating, actually. So, I'm gonna run through it again, and we'll meet you at the end of the stage. Alright, uh, I have a feeling I know what coin I despawned. Uh, Future John's gonna confirm or deny whether or not I got that. Yep, 
The other thing I need to show off is, thankfully... Well, thankfully, I uh, air quote that. Um, we're under the 100 limit, and there are no stars left on the board. However, we've got the plus 20 item. Incredibly valuable for going through a run, especially if you goof up a lot, which, as you can tell, if you don't care what you're doing, or if you're just frustrated trying to jump around everywhere trying to find a missing coin you might have missed, very, very necessary. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> Completely despawn things from the game. Good job, John. I I have a feeling that's actually like incredibly common on this stage. Ooh. All right, we haven't shown this mini game yet. This is the best mini game in the game because you get so many items for it. However, it is match two, and because I've said that, I'm probably gonna do really bad. So I apologize if I go a little quiet. It's gonna show you all the pairs. Try to find specific ones that you want, and the easiest ones to remember. I think I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up so bad. I remember you. This is why you shouldn't do hand gestures while you're talking, because it really can mess you up. <laughs> yep, I've already goofed. Shit. All right, let's see if we can bounce back from this. Because I remember that you two are mad. Okay. Here's the problem, I don't remember the rest. Usually they're touching, but I, just in case they weren't, uh, I'm probably gonna regret that. Full Eggs was one of these two. Oh, wow, okay. Um, gonna regret this. Here's where I wish I would just pause and look at the footage. Damn it! Oh well. At least I got four items out of that. If I had gotten all the pairs, we would have turned whatever the last item is into a 10-up. Which is not that big a deal, but can be helpful. The main thing is that we got a plus 10 stars. That's the real item we needed there. Alright. Let's move on to the second stage after that gong show and meet jungle rhythm dot 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 why was the triple dots there well I guess they could have called it some slightly racist things thank goodness they didn't do that we've got tribal shy guys now and as you can tell they've got a shield which makes them immune to the tongue and they've got a spear which means I can't jump on them which means I now have to grab them from behind or just throw things at them. Wow, never mind. That was incorrect as well. The shield will block things thrown at the front of them, but I thought it would actually get them from behind. Guess this Kirby knockoff is worthless. Shit, actually, you were worth. There's something down here, isn't there? Nope! Useless! Cool, glad I did that. That's for you folks at home, counting how many times I get hit for no apparent reason. The answer is all the time. And I was right, I could just throw them at the enemy at the behind. I guess I just can't use the Kirby's because they're so bouncy. And I don't care what anyone says. Very, very obvious those things are Kirby's. And then this happens. Just take that in for a second there. Yeah, a nice little tribal dance. I don't I don't know if anyone's actually going to be insulted by that, to be fair. This could just be people like, this could be perceived. Oh, that's a red coin. That's a red coin. Where'd that red coin go? There you are. I hope I didn't despawn another one. I'd rather not have to do the same, another stage because of despawning. Because of the damn shy guys. No, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't think Yoshi's Island is really the game to tackle racist topics, really, such as, is that an interpretation that should not have been hap that should not have been in the game at all. This is also a company we're talking about that have made characters such as Vodka Drunkinski, and then realizing that might be offensive to someone, renamed him to Soda Popinski, for those who don't know about the Punch-Out character. One sec, we're gonna go through the ground. Poochie! Oh, you know, actually, this is, I think, a special block, isn't it? We, the Mario team, poured our hearts and souls into creating this game. Which is why you will get frustrated for your entertainment. It's full of secrets! The secret is, 
rub against a wall and you will find a dog. Perfect secret for all you dog lovers out there. Poochie. 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 This is also... Oh no, he's speeding up. Okay. Like, this like seems really painfully slow at first. But I'm pretty sure this was just for the money. And just for that lovely little box there. Left by Miyamoto and team. Miyamoto and Co. Kind of a shortcut, too. I don't think there was anything of importance back here. Well... E okay, never mind. Totally was. Very much so. And that's why you always gotta backtrack in this game, too. It's kind of the blessing and the curse of this game in general. Also, those guys who just don't die. Uh, I'm gonna keep that flower alive for now, because... What am I... Star count at 15. Yeah, no, I should be okay by the end of the stage. But in case I goof, it'll be nice to come back. And... That's very helpful. All right. Do you drop eggs? I can't remember. No, I think this is the, I think that's like the only kind of block that looks like it should give eggs that doesn't. Ooh. Don't you fall in a stupid pit for just explaining things, John. Not not again. We've we've gone through that too many times as it is. I think these weird platform blocks, I like them too, but the one thing I don't get is why just touching them in general seems activated. That's infinitely more helpful than just having to whip an egg at them. But it's also weird, because like every other block to activate, you have to hit straight on in the head. Or underneath, I guess. With your head. But I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just them actually cutting you a break for once. Not that this is necessarily a game that needs you cutting a break. At least not yet. There will come a time, potentially, where you may bitch and complain. Or I may bitch and complain, because I feel like that's my allotment in life, sadly. <laughs> I think I just depressed myself again. But either way, it's still a solid game. Is there anything up here? No. Give me my egg. This, I seem to remember being one of the dirtier secrets in the game. So I don't know what's actually supposed to tip you off about this. It might be the spinning wheel. It might be the egg launcher. Actually, I don't even know if I can just ride this. But... I guess it's more the idea that there's this giant area covered up that it seems like you can jump towards, and sure enough, if you do, you miss the trigger. Where the, where the hell's the trigger? Oh, crud. There we go. There's a hidden area there, and you need to go here, because there's a ton of red coins here. Also, I guess the other hint is that you'll have the key that is completely useless otherwise. Yeah, that's it. Let's do it. What minigame are we getting? I'm hoping for the shootout. No, throwing balloons. Oh no, what was the trick that was told again? It was wait five, wasn't it? We'll wait five. This is also the problem of when you take, uh... You have a couple months between recording sessions because then you don't remember half the things you talked about in the first place. It's also really weird to just be like, I should probably sit down and watch my own videos so I remember things. Something is telling me I should throw it right now. Uh oh. And then I goofed it up. <laughs> and then I forgot the four button come. Oh my god, I could not have cut that closer. Wow. I almost had a heart attack on that one. Not, not really. I would not have cried over that one-up that we would not have gained. Especially when we have 19. Which is pretty good considering this is just from this session. Since that is the one thing that doesn't carry over is your lives. Which, I mean, I feel like maybe the, if the items stayed, they probably should have saved the lives as well. That's the, I don't get that. It has to be either a memory issue or they thought, they're not going to need that many lives. It's, it's one of the two. Screw off. Oh, sweet. All right, we didn't miss anything. We just need five stars. I just threw my red... I just threw my red egg. God. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Get out of here. And this is end of stage. And that's why I saved that flower back there. We're just gonna... We're just gonna shortcut over there. I mean, I could also use the plus ten, but I feel like that's a better thing to save. We'll be right back. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, we're using a item. We're using the item that turns everyone into clouds. And if you hit this... Oh, for fuck's sake. 
that was supposed to turn into a bunch of stars. <laughs> Welp! <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Fucking serious? <laughs> Twice. There we go. My God, pulling teeth. Much better. That should not have been as hard as it was. All right, we're gonna have a second chance to make up for that matching game, or are we gonna get the slot machines? I don't even remember what World 3's minigame is actually supposed to be. I know it's not the match game, because that's supposed to be World 4's. I think it might be just the either pick one. I think it's the pick one or pick until you get Kamek. Oh, sweet, another shot at match game. Because it's supposed to be World 3 and World 4's minigame, which is why match game's coming up so much. All right, let's try my luck twice. Priorities on the plus 10s and plus 20s. Apparently, I have a memory rivaling a goldfish because I've forgotten every other pair I saw. I focus on the ones I want, and then I forget about everything else. Ah, oh, shit, was that red? No, it was full. I thought, that was, I thought the full was touching something. Alright, well, we've goofed this up horrible. Oh, we've really goofed this up horribly. We sure did. Good job, John. Oh, my God. <laughs> First you despawn a coin, then you can't get a star, then you can't remember anything. What's next? I you know what? I'm I'm expecting this game to glitch by the end of this stage. I'm expecting this game to crash. That's really the only way this video can end. No, f there's no way. I'm gonna also despawn every monkey I see because I'm that monkey PTSD is back. I'm actually just gonna stop the video halfway through and just start playing Donkey Kong Country instead. Start cartwheeling off into cliffs. This is my therapy tonight, apparently. All right. Now, remember how we used to call our, our buddy Waterblarg here? Waterblarg? The reason his name is Nepanut is because uh, the stage is called Nepanut, and for some reason as a kid, I never put that together. I am very bad at two plus two, apparently. But sure enough, that's why it's called Nepanut's Domain, because we've got a Nepanut there. Or we've got multiple ones. They've got the bushiest eyebrows. Do, do you need, like, tweezers? Do you want me to hook you up? I know a guy. Like, I don't have any eyebrows. I think he can do some work for you. All right. Oh. Okay. Did not know you were invisible during that. Good to know. Also good to know I wasted an egg. Eggs are going to be a little invaluable on this stage. Primarily because you're going to be throwing them all the time in Nepanut. At least he's... Looks like he's trying to chew the coins. Oh, all he thought, also thought that was actually going to be something. Okay. No, it's over here. All right. No, it's just the one. Cool. Get over there. Get down there. Bad Nepanut. I'm still going to call it Water Blarg. I really think that's the better name. <laughs> what I say goes for this 20-something-year-old game. God, it's actually 21 now, isn't it? Because this came out in 94, 95. This is actually the 20th anniversary of Yoshi's Island? Confirmed and I. Out of eggs! Made a huge mistake. Oh, that's an even bigger mistake! Prioritize! No, oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. I mean, I'll slightly lose a baby for a second. I think I actually did get all the red coins, though, bizarrely enough. But I'm not going to take any chances here. Although I probably should have waited to grab that one after. Yo, Nepanut, you spawned all the way back at the beginning, too. Sweet! You probably didn't. You're just going to show up randomly, aren't you? You're just going to be flooring it towards me. I'm expecting it. I did not flutter. Oh, God! Come on. What is this? Ooh! Well, I was half right. Nothing. Cool. All right. Should we just 
good to book it out here. It's good to know that he actually doesn't come back. But I'm out of eggs again. I've accidentally shot myself in the foot again. Nepanut. Water Blarg. Just come here, Water Blarg. I don't even know how I'm actually saying the correct name for that, too. It's not a natural thing to say, I guess. It's just like Peanut split apart and sent me backwards. That was also nothing. Man. This is why you learn to eventually also hate those, those little pounding stations as well. Here's the weird thing. Nepanut completely immune to this. Well, maybe not... Com Maybe not the most surprising thing. He's kind of gigantic. All things considered, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Ooh, it's this stage. All right. So we're going to get our new transformation in the stage, and we actually get a new... Would you call it item? Or did I despawn? I might have actually despawned them again. Um, there we go. We've got Fat Bird and Fat Bird's children. Fat Bird's children are eggs. Makes no sense, right? Here's the thing. They're some of the best eggs in the game, too. Let me see if I can use this correctly. I don't always do this right. They're boomerangs. They come back to you. You basically have a never-ending egg. Even if you hit the, this, I believe it actually comes back. Yeah, sure enough. They are super, super helpful. But one too many bounces on the ground and they do die. So you have to be a little careful with them. Also, if I'm not careful, I'm going to despawn something else with that damn thing. Despawning. The watermelons are really good for despawning, which is why sometimes... Actually, I don't know about specific speedruns, but I know that having like the item minigames and getting watermelons helps a lot. But I'm sure you lose time actually doing the item minigame trying to get watermelons. But oh my god. Oh, I forgot about this dude. Yeah. Tall shy guy. Step on him. And you get hurt. It's great. Kids, don't try this at home. No, seriously, if, if you don't land on an enemy, he shoots watermelon seeds. It's like a never-ending supply. You can kill other enemies with them, too. Or get hit and lose stars like I did. Seriously, just cut away to, like, Donkey Kong Country at this point. <laughs> so the main problem with this stage is we've got to get to a specific spot. However, notice how this is blocked off. You can technically just hover there. Where we need to go is over here. And the only way you're getting in that gap is if you have the helicopter. However, if you want to get 100%, you do need to make a bridge up here first, which blocks the helicopter. Because there are secrets over there, and obviously if you just use a helicopter, you just warp back over there, and I believe it's actually a door you need to go in. Also, it's a bit of a beginner's trap. You don't know that helicopter's there your first time. You find out at this point where you're like, oh! Crap. Exactly. That's what happens. All right. I also think there is a secret up there. But I do not think I'm going to reach it. Unless... Give me my... Oh, or I could just kill it. That works too. I did it. Proud of myself. Monkey! Give me a door. Can I get my boost jump? Ah, almost. Crud. Oh! Thank you. There was nothing up here, was there? Well, that was fun. I'm glad we did that. And the door respawned into the damn item block. This is why you sh this is why I don't usually go with my gut instinct because apparently it's always wrong. Wait for the right moment to strike. And boom. We got a flower, so we had to go this way. No, and there was that coin over there too. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose you guys. I don't want to lose you too. Oh, hello! I just lost you two. Oh, you can't egg rotate them. I forgot about that. They run a. Wait, no, they didn't run away. Oh, this time they did. Okay. I guess if you're throwing someone's children at people, I can understand why they would be a little frightened and want to get away. Do I lose them if I hit this? No, they're still there. Sweet. All right, so let's helicopter over to where we're supposed to be. This is a really, really obtuse way to get past that wall where the door was we went in a second ago. 
But on the plus side, now we get a new transformation. Submarine Yoshi! No, or I could miss. Or I could still miss. Or I could look like a pelican. Yoshi, are you okay there? Yoshi? Oh, you can swim like that, too. Baby Mario doesn't know what the hell to think. Meanwhile, Yoshi is either trying to hold breath like a pelican, or has just turned into Pelican Yoshi. Everyone's favorite dinosaur. Let's let's get that. You do have the butt stomper. Jump really high to hit that. Now we are Submarine Yoshi, which means we get a... F I was going to say a fuck ton of missiles, but I guess we only get one at a time. Shoot at all the fish! If you take a hit, it doesn't matter. You just spin out. Although if you take a hit too low to the ground, you just uh, kind of fall to your death, because that is still abyss underneath you. Also, the homing on these missiles, sometimes really terrible. If you couldn't tell by the fact, I just learned how to make it do a figure eight. It's best to fire early and fire often. I'll resist from the that's what she said. I'm sure someone's already writing it in the comments right now. You're welcome, by the way, for that shout out, whoever you are. Why do I expect it to be Luigi? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's actually any red coins on here. I think this is just a for fun area, but I also like murdering, so that's kind of why I'm murdering. You know, everyone needs a hobby. Oh, there are red coins. I just got one. Fortunately, it slows down the pace of this dramat. Yoshi, jump! Thank you. Dramatically. Also, I just realized all the fish are respawning, so my murdering is completely pointless. Therefore, we will stop going out of, uh oh going out of our way to murder. And instead, just murdering. Regardless. We're we're gonna be murdering. That's the default. If you are not firing missiles every couple of seconds with in submarine Yoshi, you're doing something wrong, or doing that actually is slow and is bad for a speedrun, so you should probably stop doing that. So take your pick, really. I'm mainly making sure I don't miss any red coins, because I forget if there was just the one. Survey says, since the block is over here, probably not. Yeah, we're clear. Let's do it. we still got our bird orangs. We're great. We're great! Let's do it! There should be another checkpoint, too, because... Oh, frogs. <laughs> I think I just hate every animal. I think that's the, the takeaway from this video today. Holy crap! I, I've got another reason for hating them, but that'll make more sense when we get to a later point in the game. I don't even think we bump into that till the end of World 3, or it might be in World 4. Uh, that'll pop up on screen. I just really wanted to give Future John an excuse to do more things. I'm sure he's bored. I know you, considering you're, you're me. Who are you? I'm you! But you can't be you, I'm me! No, nope, no one ran away from that one. These guys are total dicks. They take three hits, and if they see you, if they're heading your way, they speed up. They also have giant, uh, their claws there. But I think they only show up if I take a shot at them. I don't think they're going to swing at me otherwise. And eventually, as you saw, they're going to be blocking a lot of things you need. Also, that's the reason I went, oh, frogs. This... And they're not a solid object when you throw them, so they can't break items. Which is also very silly. That's totally a flower down there, isn't it? That's where I gotta go, is to the right. Frog! Screw off. Ah! It's almost like I remember things from playing this game 20 years ago. Jeez. It's a good thing for that. Oh, dude, the tumbler! Can I just point out how weird his sprite looks? But I also love that they did that in the first place, that they just have a somersaulting shy guy that can just completely break his sprite by being on an angle. You're the best. All right, let's go the actual way. I think down here is for an item. And this asshole. Like I said, three hits. Also, since there's water here, can't fire in it. Boomerang kid! 
I, I'm sorry I murdered you, but you murdered someone else, so really, that evens it out, right? That's how that works. That should be the last red coin over there? No, we are still missing a flower and a bunch of red coins. Okay. You save your brother. Oh god, no, no you don't! No one runs away from the dinosaur. This is a baby party. That would probably get anyone else arrested for saying that. I apologize in advance, and if there is no next video, then you know I might have been arrested. That's really the takeaway from today's episode. Animal cruelty and murdering bird babies. I guess those those kind of go hand in hand. I've put way too much thought into this already. That frog looks really happy. Look at him. That's why we're going to murder him. I also love that he is basically a reference to Wart because his eyes look just like Wart's. You... Are a dick. I don't know why I fell for that. Get over here. I knew I should have murdered you proper. I was giving you praise for basically looking like Wart from Mario 2. On the plus side, I think. Let's let this guy get away again. I think we're good. I think all we gotta do is just ride this all the way down to the bottom and we should have all the coins. I know we've already got max stars. I know we've already got max flowers. Get over. I want him. No. All right, fine. Just leave, frog. You're not Glenn. You're not Alexander. There we go. Perfect. And we got a uh, one-up beast too. Although I'm probably not gonna mess with this guy. Actually, there's no point. <laughs> or I could just do that too. Here, have some. Ah, uh, I believe. Once we jump through this, the, egg, the our baby boomerang is gone. I'm gonna miss you, baby boomerang. <laughs> I forgot. Just flies away. I mean, he's a bird, so it makes sense. But he's just like, I must go now. My mother needs me. <laughs> Godspeed, little buddy. <laughs> My God. All right, we're done here. We're leaving. This is stupid. We're gone. When we come back. Oh, it was 3 4. Okay. We're going back. Next episode, we will be fighting a giant ass frog. Sort of. I don't know when the next episode is going to be because apparently every time I say a date for an episode, something bad happens. So as long as I don't say see you next week. Oh, fuck.